What's up guys? It's me Bridget and I'm back with another video. So today I decided to talk to you guys a little bit about something that I've been doing for a long time. I posted a video when I first started doing it and I've talked about it a couple times like in passing on my channel. But as you guys know, I do background extra work for TV shows and movies or mostly just TV shows. Um this is one of the first times I ever did background. I'm the girl in the gold jacket right behind Zoe. I couldn't get any sound for this clip because it's on freeform and of course they didn't let me do that, but that's me. That's like my main gig for work. And I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I got a comment on the video that I put up a couple months ago when I first, first, first signed up to become an extra and someone was interested in a little bit more knowledge about it so i was like sure i'd love to share with you guys the knowledge yeah so without further ado let's get into the video which happens to have a little sticky note on it from set actually from a prop uh placement thingy majigger whatever so i wrote down like some notes on like stuff to say about background because i wanted to just be as precise as possible and share as much knowledge with you guys as i could so i've been doing background since at least mid october of 2018 i think i started around a good month before that but i don't remember because i don't have the footage saved in my phone anymore but when i put up that video about being in extra uh, being in a uh, central casting and like waiting outside of their building forever long um that was in October, so I'm guessing that's when I signed up. I got into it basically because I moved out to LA and I was looking for ways to make money but not have to work like a 9 to 5 job because I've just always hated 9 to 5 jobs. At the time, I was looking for a 9 to 5 job. That's why I posted a video about like me trying to become like a makeup uh, artist, but it just really wasn't working out. So I was like, I need ways to make money in the meantime. Basically, I started off doing audience work. <sighs> I don't know if I'm even allowed to talk about names, so I'm not going to name any names, but let's just say a lot of shows that you watch that you think are audiences that want to just be there because it's fun or whatever, like game shows, talk shows, like lots of stuff are definitely a lot of people in those audiences. Some people are there because they just want to be there and like they get free tickets, but some people are there because they're paid to go. It's a thing in LA. If you live in the LA area, you can find out ways like to do it. It pays pretty good depending on the company that you go through and the show that you go to. But yeah, I was doing that for a little while and I was realizing though the problem with audience work is that it's really tiring. A lot of shows, if you guys see them, they may be an hour long on TV, but actually the filming of shows takes like six to eight hours. Like it takes a really long time to film a show. And a lot of them are like standing up for that long period of time. You're not allowed to leave. You're not allowed to go get uh, food. You can leave to go to the bathroom, but you have to wait like for your turn. And there's like so many people. So it's just, it's a very tiring job. It may not seem like it, but it is a very tiring thing to do. Uh, especially if you're doing it regularly because it's like the main way you're making money, which was how I was. I was doing shows like every single day for a while, sometimes multiple times a day, like multiple different shows. It was a lot. So I realized that it was super tiring and I was like, I need a way to make money like this or better, but like not be doing this much work. Plus, by the way, I live in LA and don't have a car. So anything that I do is also just like generally tiring because of transportation. But I was willing to deal with that part of it as long as the rest of it wasn't so tiring. You know what I mean? Anyways, long story short, I ended up talking to some other people who did audience work with me and they told me about central casting, which I'm sure I can say this in a video because they have like commercials everywhere and they're like the biggest freaking employers in all of the United States. But basically, 
they are a really big company that casts people to be in the background of TV shows and stuff. They have multiple locations all over this country, so you can sign up to uh, work with them if you live in any big metropolitan area. It's not like in every state, but it's in like, I think, I know it's in LA, I know it's in Georgia, I think it's in New York too. It's in a lot of different places. And they pay you minimum wage, uh, it's taxed, all that. It was like a really great way to uh, earn money according to a lot of the people that I was doing audience work with. A lot of them do did like that and then did audience work to like supplement it because that was like what they wanted to be doing more often, you know, because it, it was, um, it just has more perks to it or whatever. I'm gonna get into that later in the video. So from Central Casting, I eventually tried to make it like my main 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 gig which right now is my current situation I signed up for a calling service which is something else I'm gonna touch on in this video but I won't go like into detail about you guys can uh, like you know comment if you guys want to hear more about what calling services are and my experiences with them I don't have much experience but like you know a little bit <laughs> from there I'm not sure where it's gonna take me I'm looking into other things but yeah, that's my current situation as far as work and being an extra and all of that. Yeah, so to sign up specifically for central casting, which is the one that's the most common around like the country and stuff, um, it, the sign up process has changed. If you watch my video from before my vlog, you'll see the sign up process back then. I'm really pissed about it, but in January of 2019, it changed in LA and people don't have to do the whole like staying overnight thing. You just have to sign up for an appointment online and then um, they put you in like a queue and they like call you or whatever. That's what I've heard. I didn't sign up that way, so I don't know, but that's what I've heard about how you can sign up and it's way easier now. I'm actually pretty pissed about the fact that it changed. <laughs> I'm pretty sad about that. Like, they didn't tell us that was gonna happen. I had no idea about that. I wouldn't have freaking done what I did if I knew about that. <laughs> Showing up to sign up for central casting, the best tip that I could give you for signing up is just make sure you have all your paperwork with you. That's one thing that, like, they turn away people for, which I'm just like, that's just retarded. There's two pieces of paper that you're supposed to come with. Maybe one if you have the right, like, identification or whatever um show up with your paperwork and show up looking how you would look on set like if you're gonna do this like you must have imagined yourself on set and like the way you look on a day a normal day but like a good day that's like how you want to look in the background i feel like that gives you more of a chance for like casting directors to pick you because the better your pictures look the better it is but like really that doesn't even have that much to do with it. Also, it's just about like being in touch with them and like keeping up communication that keeps you getting booked. Um, I don't know, I could talk more about that in another video. Pros and cons of being a background person. I wanted to just talk about that. One pro is that it was pretty good money, especially based on where I was coming from when I started. Um, coming from audience work where you make like the best you hope for is like 60 bucks every once in a while you'll make like 100 and you'll be excited about that but like 60 bucks is like the best like you're supposed to hope for and then going into background work where your base pay is like i'm just gonna say it like i don't really care i don't know if i'm supposed to talk about this but i'm just gonna say it. like it's the minimum pay for like an eight hour day on minimum wage if you're going from that to that like it's like it's pretty good money like you're excited but um, now, as time goes on, I'm realizing that that's not that much money. <laughs> Just being honest. But um, yeah, that's another conversation. And it is also really good, though, because they do pay a lot of uh, overtime. You usually get pretty good overtime working jobs because they pay you for an eight hour day regardless of if you work eight hours or not like if you leave after two hours of working like they dismiss you you still get paid for an eight hour day or if you stay overtime you make pretty good overtime so they usually pay you um that you get like time and a half then you get double like it's like a whole thing i don't want to go into all of that but it's pretty good financially like just to say the only problem though is it's kind of unstable so this is the con 
it's very unstable you don't know when you're gonna get booked it's not predictable um so you have to like stay on your toes constantly trying to make sure you're booked for the next day that can be kind of stressful and depending on your personality typing it would be really stressful it doesn't stress me out that much i like being in charge of my schedule that way but you know it's different people different things another pro it's a really great networking and growth opportunity. So you're around a lot of people who are very similar to you and very different from you. Um, because you're being like cast for the background, the basic reason why you're there, you're not there like because you have some talent or acting ability. It's really pretty much just because you look like the part. And it's not even about like looks like looking good or bad even. It's really just like, if you imagine life, what kind of people would be here? If you're gonna go to a mall, you're gonna see a bunch of like moms looking people and like kids and like freaking old people and young people. Like if that's gonna, if that's the background job, you'll see that. And like those people may live very different lives from like the part that's being played, but like it's just people who look like they're supposed to be in this area and when you get on set it's really crazy because when you look around you can actually tell like from watching tv your whole life like wow like we we all look like we're supposed to be here like it's really strange it actually like trips me out sometimes because i'm like wow like i do look like i fit in here especially if you change my outfit just a little bit or like like make me wear a certain type of makeup i look literally like i'm supposed to be here that's really crazy and it'll be said stuff that's like so different from your personality but like that's where you fit but basically because that's the case you meet a lot of people who sometimes can be super similar to you because you're both you all fit in this certain circumstance but other times they could be really different from you because maybe they look like they fit in this circumstance but in real life they don't do this type of stuff at all and they just dress them way differently and that makes them like at like get in this atmosphere you get what I mean it's a great networking opportunity to like work with people a lot of people in the industry if you want to be in like acting and entertainment that way a lot of people in the industry like to do background for their uh, backup jobs and then also um, some people like to do it just for fun like I've met people who live very extravagant like not <laughs> I don't not to say extravagant but I've lived people who don't need to do background and they're at background like freaking working background which can be hard make but they're just there because they're like a fan of the show or something so they live like a completely different life outside of this but they just wanted to be there so you meet like a lot of really interesting people doing it and you meet different people every single day because it's not like a regular job where you go into the same place all the time sometimes you get a set that you do for maybe a week long but like other than that that's like the longest i've ever i've only ever been on the same set like with the same exact people doing the same scene for like up to a week and then after that like you move on to something else like you're not always with the same people so you're always getting a chance to meet new people however that's also a con because you always are making first impressions so if you're like having a bad day and you just don't feel like talking to anybody background in LA in general is a weird <laughs> culture and that everybody knows each other so like guaranteed you're gonna go on another set and like like sometimes some someone will have recognized you from a set before and been like oh i thought they were that you were like a shy like like stuck up stuck up kind of person because you were all quiet or whatever and then i see you on this set and you're super friendly and it's like you i don't know it's interesting because you're always making first impressions nobody ever knows you you're never on a set where like everybody on set knows you you're always making first impressions on people and that's just like i think that's just a feature of the industry but very very strong in background it's a lesson that i've definitely learned in background to like always be on your tippy toes about certain things like like stick to your values you know be a friendly person be respectful all that kind of stuff no matter what no matter how bad of a day you're having or no matter what the person before them said because you will meet that person again and you're always making first impressions and you can't change a first impression okay so some shallow pros and cons it's a really fun job it's cool it's fun to say to people like yeah i've been on this show like it's fun to see yourself on shows and be like ah that's the back of my head i'm not like you know it's cool um it's also like you get fed on set so most of the time that sh is dank like 
so that's a great call that's a great pro it's also also like unique you have unique like fun experiences you meet celebrities and shit and you can like tell stories about that later in life whatever like party stories it's great networking opportunities like I said before you meet a lot of fun people who you'll probably meet in other circumstances throughout life because they're all trying to do the same stuff as you okay and then now some like shallow cons long hours most of the time that you're on set like even though they have that rule of like if you if you leave un with under uh, eight hours worth of work you get paid for the whole eight hours I've only done that like a few times <laughs> like most of the time that I'm on set I stay if not the whole eight hours which is kind of annoying when you only stay eight hours because you're like I would have got paid for this if I left earlier and you're like I could have made overtime like you could have kept me an hour more and then I could have made like just a little more but um anyways yeah so sometimes you only make like the eight hours or usually it's like 12 that's the like normal day for me I normally I'm used to working like 12 hour days and I could have never said that before like I've never been used to working that many hours that's a lot for me but now that's me I work 12 hour days and that's like what you get used to with background another thing is a lot of time it's it's travel time like no matter where you live you're never just always close to set because sets are all over the place and they're usually in really remote areas so like you'll have a clump of sets in like this area an hour away a clump of sets in this area 30 minutes away a clump of sets this area two hours away you know what I mean and like you're constantly going in between them and you never know what set you're gonna get booked on and a lot of times you don't even know the location of where you're going until like the night before almost always the night before usually like late at night before sometimes you'll get it like 7 p.m but like other times i've gotten it at like 10 p.m and i had to be at set in the morning at like 6 a.m and it's just like annoying because it's like i like my sleep so i kind of slept all those freaking hours but you guys freaking didn't tell me what time i was going where i was going to work so i didn't know how long i could sleep you know what i mean okay sometimes when you're on set it's like especially location sets or especially big sets like when there's not very many background and you're on a studio set it's usually really really nice they feed you really well they take care of you they put you in a comfortable place like all that kind of stuff if you're in a bigger setting with a lot more background people if you're like on location which basically means not on a studio set so like out like somewhere maybe like uh a field or maybe it, like literally anywhere I've been on the beach before like lots of places if you're doing that sometimes it's like the food is not the best like they try to keep you guys lasting on freaking peanut butter crackers and like apples all day one time I was on set that they literally had stale popcorn and stale peanuts like peanut in the freaking shells all day that's all we had and water which the water was good but like the rest of it I was like what the heck like I you need to take your own snacks sometimes sometimes also there can be like like I said like there's different people on set and you never know who's gonna be on set and sometimes like because backgrounds kind of like the lowest of the low in the industry like there's sometimes where you're around people who are just not the nicest and honestly like, this is harder for some people than others. Like, honestly, I don't have that big of a deal with this because when people, like, treat me a certain type of way on set, I usually can chalk it up to, like, this is a long day, everybody's stressed out. Like, it's really usually understandable. Um, but you are, like, the bottom of the totem pole, and you kind of just have to realize that, that, like, you're the punching bag. If somebody's getting yelled at in their ear all day, they're gonna turn around and yell at you because, like, you're there. And I don't know. I... I don't ever know what to say about that I just it just doesn't bother me that much I just feel like it's like take it like it's kind of like initiation I guess um I just whatever I'm just like it's cool I understand you didn't mean to yell at me you was yelling at the homie in your ear but you can't yell at him so you gotta yell at me so I feel you yell at me I can take it you know what I mean you know what I mean I don't know, if you, I don't know. one another con can be that you have a lot of unique fun experiences that you can't share <laughs> like I was saying like anything that I drop like little niblets that I drop low-key as I'm making this video I'm kind of scared of talking about them to be honest because I don't want to get caught up by any freaking sets talking about this was on our set and like you're telling talking bad about our sets like I'm not trying to talk bad about anybody 
I'm not trying to slander nobody. Um, just trying to share some information because people are interested in knowing how to do this. And I have an experience with it. But yeah, like you sign a lot of paperwork on set, especially the more popular the show is or the bigger the production is, you sign away like the right to tell or to show anything. A lot of things that happen on set, I can't take pictures of. I can't come out with like behind the scenes videos later on like no I'm gonna get sued for that even if the fucking show is already out like no sometimes I can get away with like some things a lot of people in the background like some of you on my Instagram yeah I'm talking to you y'all be posting stuff online and I'll be like was I there I was not there because I didn't see the phone I wasn't involved I'm not getting sued for three million dollars because you want to post a snapchat of yourself in your cute little makeup on set with the lights behind you when you're fucking in the background <sighs> let me not even let me not go off but yeah a lot of people do that and I'm just like I'd be scared I'm like you really are willing to risk getting sued for that just tell your mom and dad when it comes up on tv let them freaking tivo it like it's cool finally this is for anyone who's like actually looking to be in acting and be in the entertainment industry doing background is not a professional opportunity unless you want to be professional background I don't have the most experience with this. I've just talked to a lot of people. I will say that. Um, but talking to everyone I know who's been doing this for a while, if you're doing background and like you want, then like be, with the whole becoming union and like all that kind of stuff or whatever, like the opportunities that you get in background, like meeting ADs, all that kind of stuff, some of them can lead to something, but most of the time it's just gonna lead to more background. Maybe like union background, which is like a, kind of like a promotion. You can't use background as anything on your resume. You can't say I have experience being behind such and such in this movie. That's not experience. So it doesn't really lead to like professional opportunity, but it does lead to financial opportunity and possible career opportunity if that's the career that you're looking for if you're looking to be in like uh primary roles and stuff like that in the industry this is not the route for you if you're looking to be a professional stand-in or something like that like something that's like professionally behind the scenes but also kind of acting and like um yeah that then it could possibly be the route for you literally i'm just saying this as a like rule because like recognize all rules have exceptions so like there's other things that could happen but yeah that is what i know of that situation and that's why i'm looking for other opportunities because i don't personally want to um not like to knock it or anything but i don't want to be doing background forever like it doesn't like fulfill me enough i really want to like play more characters and like like really get into a role so i'm looking into other opportunities to grow that way okay yeah so i hope that i covered enough stuff if you guys have more questions about anything whether that's um phrases that are used in background i was thinking about doing a video about that like ad's um first second ad freaking union like other like explaining things like that explaining things like tips of what to bring to doing back background because i literally have an entire suitcase of stuff that i bring every single time to background and it's the same stuff and i <laughs> it's like essential when i'm doing my shows and when i don't bring it because i'm trying to like thinking it's going to be a short day and like trying to like um be short packing i always regret it always so i can do a video about that i can do a video talking more about calling services and what's the deal on those ways to stay like cool with casting directors and stuff all that kind of stuff anything else you guys want to talk about leave me comments down below if you're interested like this video if you liked this video like this video if you liked this video i mean yeah that's what i meant so yeah i really enjoy talking to you guys about stuff that like i can actually share and like help with you guys with so if you liked that go ahead and like <laughs> if you liked that like the video <laughs> that sounds so stupid i'm sorry okay that's all Woo! Before you go, 
I'm sure I already asked you guys this and hopefully you already have, but just in case you haven't, make sure you like and comment on this video and go ahead and share it with your friends too. If you guys enjoyed that video and would like to continue to hang out with me, go ahead and follow my Instagram, yo. I post on there way more often than I do YouTube and I also respond to my DMs so we could be real friends in like real life, you know? Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you're looking for more stuff to watch, this was my last video and I think you'd really like this video right here, so. Check it out. I'll be waiting. Go ahead and click. Whenever you're ready. I'll be waiting. Okay, hopefully you've clicked now. Bye. <laughs>